Lesson number 112 is about multiplying and dividing integers. And remember integers, they're just whole numbers, but they can be positive or negative. So our first problem is to simplify 4 times 3. Well, we know 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Our next problem is 4 times negative 3. Now when we multiply a negative number times a positive number, what we're saying is a negative sign is really just the opposite. So we're saying what's the opposite? of a positive number? Well, the opposite of a positive number must be a negative number. So our answer must be negative 12. And then for our last problem, negative 4 times negative 3, well, if we've got two negatives, that means the opposite of a negative and the opposite of a negative, well, that must be a positive. So when we multiply two negatives together, we're always going to get a positive answer. Let's look at some division problems with integers. Here we've got 12 divided by 3. Well, we know that answer. 12 divided by 3, that's going to give us 4. 12 divided by negative 3. So, just like with multiplication, a negative sign really just means the opposite. So if we take the opposite of a positive, that must be a negative. So our answer is going to be negative 4. And then when we say negative 12 divided by negative 3, well, we're saying what's the opposite of a negative? Well, the opposite of a negative. Well, that must be a positive. So our answer is going to be positive 4. And we've got the same pattern with division as we do with multiplication. When we multiply two positives together, we always get a positive. When we multiply or, divide, multiply or divide. When we divide a positive and a negative, we're always going to get a negative and we divide two negatives, well, we're always going to get a positive. That was a quick lesson today. We'll practice more with our lesson practice on page 608. Make sure you've got your notes complete, and I'll see you during our next class.